Hey Aries, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to the place where we Tyrone Hill, our way to self-love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Welcome to your March reading. Let us get started. I come to you, humble God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Aries collective need to know? Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles just came out along with the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is like breaking away from the old, breaking away from the tradition or the old way of doing things, okay? And it's going for your self-sufficiency with the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be leaving, um, leaving an old job that you've been at to start your new path, you know? Um, it could just be leaving just an old belief system, okay? But it's, it is stepping, it's forging your own path, though, for sure. It's more of a freedom, <laughs> I don't know why I would say freedom fighter, more of a freedom, free energy. Not free like, we. I can do whatever I want. It's more so like, I'm liberated to do what I want to do, you know, because I know what I want to do, you know. It's more strategic, more independent, independent as opposed to just being free, right? All right, what's going on? Mm. Wow, look at that. Take risk came out, okay? So yeah, jumping away from, you know, the traditional, the old way of doing things to forge your own path, that is gonna be a risk. Some of you guys might be starting your own business, okay? Some of you guys might be going against, you know, the status quo of your family or your friends or whatever the case, all right? It's a risk. Someone's taking a leap of faith. All right. But I feel like it's just to start your own. I, it doesn't feel reckless. Whatever this is, it doesn't feel reckless. And that's why I want to keep like pointing out it's less of like a free flowing energy and more so of a freedom fighter, you know, more of an independent. It's a fight for independence. But it feels like it's coming with like a struggle. Like I've been fighting for this independence for so long, you know? All right, let's go. It's coming with a lot of fire. And passion. Speaking of that fire, we have the Knight of Swords coming out, which is that fiery knight. Well, the Wands is really fiery, right? This Knight of Swords can move like well, it's a sword, so freedom fighter, you know, fighting for it, you know? So the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands are like the faster moving knights, right? They're moving quick, they're moving fiery, you know, they're moving with this focus. Now with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands can be a bit more rash than the Knight of Swords. That's why I do feel like you guys are moving in a direction, but it's very clear about what you want, even if it might seem impulsive to other people. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Queen of Wands. Speaking of that fire. All right. It's something. Hold on. Let's see what's up. Let's see what we're talking about. Let's see what we're talking about before we get into it. Because the last Aries reading, I feel like that one was kind of wild. I think it was Aries that had that wild reading. This has cowboy energy. I don't know. It feels like a wild, ooh, wild cowboy energy here. Someone's taking a risk in ending something. All right. Four of Wands coming out again. In reverse. 
Oh, this is a this is a lot. This is all over the place. What is going on? Oh, we had this reading. We already talked about the Aries. Okay, I do feel like it was Aries. I had that crazy reading because a lot of the a lot of like the readings in January were about like the the divine masculines doing some wild ish, going back and forth between the karmic and. Anyway, it's feeling like that again. The middle of the deck, uh, middle of the reading, we have the King of Cups coming out, all right? Either someone's taking a risk when it comes to something that they're passionate about. It can go either way. The lovers card coming out in a verse. Either someone's breaking a connection. You know what? If somebody was caught between two people, either one will be a risk, right? Um, because there's love for both parties. So someone's making a decision to cut one out with that coffin, okay? It might be communication about like, hey, we got to end this, you know, um, whoever, for whichever partner, whoever they choose. Oh my God. But then here we are with the justice card in reverse and the hangman. Someone's looking at it like it's, it wasn't, it might've felt like they made the wrong decision with the three of swords coming out. The three of swords is coming out in reverse. This energy is all over. I feel like this energy is definitely with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, that fiery, passionate energy. Not saying that this person doesn't know what they want. I just feel like they're very impulsive about going about it and about handling and navigating this energy. They're not thinking things through. All right. Until it's too late. It's like the energy of someone is not a calculated risk. Someone's like, I just need to take action. So I'm going to just take some action. Um, mm. This gamble here, all right? Yeah, this is definitely a choice between two things. With the Lovers Card and King Cups, I do feel like it's two people. Wow, the commitment. Somebody got the axe and someone got the commitment. So look, the communication about ending things with the Queen of Wands, all right? This is someone who is drawing them in, beckoning them in. And then we have the communication, more communication about commitment. And that's coming out with the Justice card in reverse. Someone either feels like or they did. Someone took a gamble and they might feel like they made the wrong decision. It does feel like there's an injustice in the decision that they chose. Whether they know it or not, let's look more into it. But either way, it does seem like the heartbreak of having both is alleviated. The ha um, oh, that's, yeah, I was talking about that with the Aries reading. Or oh, one of them reading where I was saying, like, they're not have, they're not happy with both or like, having both. Um, so they alleviated that. They're like, look, I got to do something. I'm going to just do this. Um, but it was, they didn't take the time. They just wanted to alleviate themselves of the pain of the situation um, that they just made whatever rash decision without thinking it through. What's the blockage? Queen of Cups in reverse. The emotion seemed like it was so out of whack. We have the Queen of Cups coming out with the Five of Pentacles and the Empress. 
someone's emotions were so out of whack. They didn't want to lose the empress. Even though it feels like, wow, here we are with the two, with the two women coming out. There's a karmic, there's a divine. One might, this could be someone that someone has a family with as a karmic or whatever the case is. But either way, someone doesn't want to, someone's love is more important than the other, it seems. So that's why they went with that person. For whatever reason, their love is more important. It's more to lose with that person. So that's why they went to that person there. With the Five of Pentacles, which is that feeling of feeling lost with the Empress. Now, like the Empress could be, like I said, it could be the family. It could be wife. It could be a husband. You know, whatever the gender is, it doesn't matter. Okay, it could be someone, a marital spouse. It could be the... The parent of somebody's kid, okay? It does seem like that energy is turned, though. The energy, the emotional energy is turned um, in another direction. Like, it's not, it doesn't feel like there's much emotion here, but they have more to lose. They probably built more with this person. So they have to manage that. Yeah, see this person, the clouded judgment, all right? But it's because they built something with this person, like that's confusing them. All right, what did they found to see? Go within, four of swords. Yeah, it's time for some introspection, okay? Someone's like clouded. I have a vision of like just a, mad wild dog just like Ugh. I don't know like bewildered that's the energy I'm getting bewildered and someone's making rash decisions from this bewildered state okay because they're just like I can't I just don't know this is too much um someone needs to take time out to be introspective to calm it down and make oh, um, a rational decision here they might feel like that they can have a new beginning with this with this past partner um, or hoping for it. But it does seem like it's a continuous cycle that they're going to be kept in with the Ten of Swords that kind of peaked out. And now we have the full card coming out in reverse. OK, that's like not taking a leap. It's like going for the safe. Someone went with the safe bet. Someone had a choice to take a risk and they went with the safe bet. OK. Wow, we have the Fool card coming out with the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is a card of not taking a leap of faith. This is a card of not being put, not not moving forward into where you're being pushed to. So back to like that Queen of Wands energy. Someone felt pushed and drawn, like some a Queen of Wands was like luring them in. Okay, they felt pushed magnetically, attracted and pulled to someone, um, but they didn't. They stood their ground, Four of Pentacles, they were being a bit stubborn. Um, they went with whatever was solid and safe and secure for them. Let's see advice here. Now here we are with the, with the Three of Cups and the Emperor. And I was about to say, well, at least they made some choice, right? Instead of no choice at all. But now here we are with the Three of Cups. And the emperor in reverse here. So we have the empress coming out. Now we have the emperor along with that queen of wands um, and the queen of cups type of energy. Hmm. This person just wants, it's like, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> what are they talking about? And them trying to keep everyone happy they're denying themselves of becoming emperor. So that's what's happening there. Yeah. 
All right. Oh, your chemistry coming out. What do the romance angels have to say? Hmm, you're forgiving and learning. I don't know why I'm feeling this energy of a cycle. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment, okay? Um, express your love, wow. So I'm not expressing the love in a moment. Expressing, um, not being stubborn about that. Wow, I'm calling in your soulmate. See, someone's getting summoning in, summoned in. I feel like someone feels that. They feel like they're being lured in by a soulmate, okay? And But they're with someone. Look at that. Keep an open mind. Um, someone's being stubborn, like, no, I'm not going to do that, which is admirable. Like, yes, yeah, stay faithful, right? Um, but it's like, it, it seems like someone's in a painful cycle with their, their current situation and someone, there's a new portal of love opening up. Um, now look at that codependency at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, whatever this situation is that they're currently in, it's very safe, it's very comfortable. They know what they're about to deal with, you know. So they decided not to take a risk to whoever was summoning them, all right? Wow, come on, Aries, you deserve love. This keeps coming back. No matter what this person, whatever reason they keep coming up with, it's feelings of not feeling worthy. This energy keeps coming up for Aries. It's been coming up for the past couple of months. You deserve love. All right. Power animal. What's the power animal for Aries? Be fearless and bold. Look at that. <laughs> Take the risk. Skunk spirit. Wow, spirit is coming through right now. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. See, back to that feeling of not feeling worthy enough for love. So they're just kind of settling for something that's not giving them the love that they want. Even though they see where where that love is that they can have. They might come up with all types of reasons, but wow, out of spirit, you are never alone. This is like soulmate energy. Whatever reason they're coming up with to stay with in a situation that they're in, it's really because they just don't feel like they're deserving of the love that's pulling them in, okay? Not knowing that it's their manifestation. Electric ill spirit, bring your ideas to life. All right, well, someone's about to make the choice or they made the choice, but they, are, they made the wrong choice or whatever. They decided to um, stay in a cycle that they're in and that's where free will comes, comes in and plays a role. People are given opportunities, and then people are here to take the opportunities or throw the opportunities away, all right? So that's what's happening there. All right, well, let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. I mean, on IG, that's Tyron Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. Thank you so much. So we meet again. Peace.